Are you ready? I suppose. Do you want to borrow my notes? For what? For these twos? No, you took those notes from my brain. I know. It's a joke. <laughs> Yo, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and review on these bad boys right here. This is the Air Jordan 2 in the lucky green colorway, a brand new look for the shoe, which I think looks gorgeous, don't you think? Yep, that is what it is. Yep, yep, yep. Now real quick before we talk about the shoes, they do come in the original style Air Jordan 2 box, which I think is dope. However, I don't know if it's just this pair because you were talking about this in your Jordan 2 video. Yours didn't come with the tech sheet, like the pamphlet, like the original pair does, right? Like the, the OG Chicago with the black midsole. Or the hang tag. Or the hang tag, I didn't even realize that. So yeah, so these only come with an OG box. They're not labeled as OG, but still like they're in an OG box, you know what I mean? So, and I and I get like the even non-OG OG colorways of threes and fours now come in three and four boxes. Same with the five, six, seven, eight. So I get that, but you've already made those things. Why not just, you know what I mean? That to me seems very weird. I, I do understand that maybe you can consider them reserving the little wings hang tag and the Jordan pamphlet with only original two colorways, but I would argue, especially for this shoe, that's such a waste. There's only two original colorways, just the Chicago and then the white and red ones, that's it. And then the low top versions of the same colors. Like it's like there was only two twos. So yeah, I, I really wish that those things came with this shoe, especially because these new colorways are meant to bring in new customers, like maybe new fans of the two. Maybe maybe you'd never liked the two until you saw this particular colorway. Now you just missed out, you missed out on all that kind of good shit. You know what I mean? You miss that on the OG hang tag, on the OG pamphlet. All you got was the f***ing box. What a little bitch! Maybe I'm just nitpicking, I'm not sure. All I know is that from my perspective, my opinion, when I see that, I'm just like, bro, these shoes cost so much money already. Give me the stupid ass hang tag and the little pamphlet, please. Now, as far as the shoe itself is concerned, uh, these are f***ing gorgeous, man. Like, look at them, look at them. I would introduce this white and red as one of my favorite Air Jordan 2s, but since there is only two colorways and I love them both, I mean, it's not wrong, but it's just the other Air Jordan 2, and obviously this is where they're taking the color inspiration and color blocking from, which I think is fantastic. Like this, I just think you can never go wrong with taking an OG color blocking and just switching up the color real quick to anything. You can do this with blue, gray, orange, black even, who knows? All I know is that it looks great because, I mean, this is how a lot of us are used to seeing the shoe since 1987 and so when you do this it's something new and familiar all at the same time man the shape on these is so much better like i just can't even these look like straight timberlands yeah, these yeah. look sleek and sexy as it's so awesome. Now, luckily they don't switch up any of the tech features in this colorway for the Air Jordan 2. So the outsole is exactly the same as the Chicago Air Jordan 2 and all the previous Air Jordan 2 retros for 2022 and so far in 2023. Again, OG everything pretty much, which I think looks fantastic. You still have the exposed polyurethane that is attached to the actual midsole. It's like part of the midsole coming through. Adds quite a bit of comfort despite maybe thinking otherwise. Polyurethane is not known nowadays as a comfort foam even though it totally can be because you know most of those insoles are polyurethane but that to me is just a nice little feature that we had not been seeing on most air jordan 2 retros until the whole like i want to call it remastered but it, it's not it's just they reworked the shoe to make it look like the original and it's awesome now the midsole is still polyurethane as well they painted it this sail color typically i don't like the pre-h thing obviously we're getting more and more used to seeing it and it's looking better and better depending on the colorway me personally i think that this colorway works with this. If anything, these are slowly starting to turn. <laughs> so my, you know, heel counter there is already yellow. My midsole is not quite there yet, but eventually uh, it'll get there. So it's just one of those things where it's kind of beating it to the punch. And with this being today's modern trend, again, I don't think that this looks bad. I just think it's a really clean look for the shoe and they're just kind of like speeding up the process a little bit. I'd argue it looks better. Only because, like this? Only because it's matching versus one of them yellowing in advance. I kind of agree. So like, it's just one of those things where again like the whole pre-age thing i know that some people find it to be really corny i don't disagree but sometimes it does work i do think that this is definitely one of those times now the tech features have been reworked in the shoe so the original retros of the air jordan 2 model actually featured full length air which was not an original tech spec feature and now these newer ones starting in 2022 or when did those off-white ones come out was that 2021 mm, I don't know. yeah i can't <laughs> i'm sorry i can't i can't remember when those came out but the off-white air jordan 2 lows were like the first 
first ones, I think. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me, but I'm pretty sure. Those were the ones where they like first like switched up the tech back to the original. So now it's polyurethane midsole, encapsulated heel air sole unit. And then the insole, unfortunately, is the Dream Cell variety. So it's not the best polyurethane insole that they could have used. It's not like the Chicago Air Jordan 2. So with that, the comfort on these is still comfortable, but it's not like the Air Jordan 2 comfortable. Like when I put those on, I feel like I could play in those. I still feel like I could play in these. They're just, like I said, not as comfortable. I don't want to like hype up the comfort or downplay it too much. I do think that they're still just fine, but it's just not as comfortable as the Air Jordan 2 Chicago. That's all. So in case you're like going to get one and be like, hey, what happened with it? That's in my opinion, I just feel like it's the insole. The insole makes a big difference to me. Obviously you could replace that, but when you're paying this much for a shoe, I don't really think, you know what I mean? Like if you need orthotics, that's one thing. Or if your retros are beat to sh that's another thing. But for a shoe that retails for 200 plus, I don't know. Now the materials are very nice. However, the overall craftsmanship is going to be pretty hit or miss. Like this left shoe uh, looks really good. This right shoe, not so much. But basically, if you like the leather that was used on the Chicago version of the Air Jordan 2, then you'll like these just fine. It's just that some of the cuts, they're just like really weird. Like this whole area is wrinkled as shit not even tried on or anything and then when i did put them on i flexed and it's like the top pu coat is like not adhered to the leather underneath it too well and so it just like spider web wrinkles out and it looks super weird super unnatural no don't like that the grommets here so they got metal grommets all along the eye stay area and at the base those are put on really sloppy like this bottom one is like pulling off of the shoe this one right here the grommet is there on the outside but the rest of the grommets not on the inside it's actually inside the box there's just some weird quality control issues that i feel like if you get a good pair that's awesome but just be aware especially if you're buying online you might get a messed up pair man it's just it's just the reality of but again, the materials are super nice. They put the piping on there just like the original white and reds, which is dope. The original Chicago did not have the extra piping and everything like that. The tongue, much like the Chicago Air Jordan 2, is really crappy material. It's just a synthetic. However, there's these bungees. I love these. Like these make shoes so comfortable it's not even funny the tongue is nicely padded as well so is the collar much like the air jordan 2 chicago so again if you have that shoe in that colorway you should be very happy with these so long as uh, all of the quality control issues are not apparent on your pair also fun fact i got this from my good buddy sean scholar 23 he's a big two fan in case you didn't know pretty sure everybody knows by now but the eyelets on the air jordan 2 these plastic ones right here at the midfoot on size nine and a half and lower it's three and then on size 10 and up there's four so in case you're looking around and you're like how come some have three how come some have four that's why that's also an original feature that's not present on the lows for some reason the lows has got four i don't know why but anyways you've got the nike air branding on the inside insole and you've got the nike on the back and then the air jordan wings logo on the tongue super simple super clean i fucking love it. like could you imagine going from the main like your first signature shoe with a big ass swoosh stamped on the side to nothing how big time is that we're like already by the second shoe the designers were just like you know what man he doesn't need the swoosh on there dude that's a big marketing thing like when you're on a court and you're all the way up in the stands and you're taking pictures of the guys playing and stuff the branding is everything have they ever replaced the nike on the back and the nike on the bottom like they do on the threes and the fours so right there uh -huh. jordan instead of nike okay okay this one says nike but kind of like what they do nowadays with threes and fours where original colorways say nike air and new colorways have the jump man they had a very small stint where it said jordan there instead of nike and people hated it because it looks dumb it's so cramped why didn't they try and put the mini jump man from the 11 lows there there's never a branding logo there and i think that that would have been a, a dumb move so thank goodness they didn't try that that would have been awful somebody in their office just went There's probably a sketch on the wall there being like, you got it. It's crumpling the paper, throwing it away. Oops, sorry. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, you can do one of two things. You can go true to size. You should be good to go. However, if you do happen to run in a pair and maybe they only have a half a size down, you can fit in that. They will be a little snug, but it'll be a perfect one-to-one -one fit. My only gripe with that is that there is a lot of padding in the back, and so it kind of pushes your foot up a little bit. So that's where like going true to size, you should be good to go, especially all day long when your feet swell and things like that. But if you happen to run into a pair that's a half a size down, just try it on. You never know. It might 
bit. But with all that being said, this is the Air Jordan 2 in the brand new Lucky Green colorway. Again, I think it's a fantastic colorway, paying tribute to an original colorway that's usually a fan favorite, the white and reds and things like that. So let us know what you think about these down below in the comment section. Are you here for this? Are you not? Do you already have a pair? And if you do, how's the quality on yours? Like, are you missing grommets anywhere? Like, is your leather stupid wrinkly in certain places where it shouldn't be already? Sound off below, let us know. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. We will catch you on the next one. So until then, have a good one.